What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at what's coming Thursday. So obviously tomorrow there's going to be pretty much a lot of stuff changing in terms of content, cards, campaigns and rewards and all of these objectives and all this, right? The login campaign for the 777 million downloads campaign will end. That's going to be done and dusted. We're also going to go through this missions here. So these objectives are going to be gone here as well ends in 16 hours and then also on top of that you're going to have with that the match pass as well that's going to be extended till the 12th of september now the reason for that is because they're probably going to bring in eFootball 25 or just simply eFootball by then but yeah that is going to be everything else is going to be changed the eFootball league itself is always tied to the match pass so that is the 12th and the 9th as well and but everything else content wise is going to be changing we're not going to even going to go into events if you haven't played any of those events now is your time to play them and also for the contracts right so for any of these players these special packs the Perez pack that you see here that is going to be ending because it's tied to the campaign the 777 campaign the rest of the managers are going to be all right but these managers are going to be gone these two managers are okay but all of these premium managers are going to be gone and with them the packs as well so Messi, griezmann last chance to get those there's a lot expiring tomorrow and obviously we're going to be gearing up for eFootball 25 contract uh contracts and, and content right this is going to be gone tomorrow the j league the national attackers zico badass judah and collar last chance to get them Skulls is going to be gone and then also the European and worldwide national team selection is going to be gone as well. So these two are going to be remaining. They will probably get new contract um, when, you know, new contract or nominating contracts with eFootball 25 in two weeks time or whenever it comes right around that day 12th. Also with this, you are going to have brand new player of the weeks coming on Thursday and we're going to take a look at them now. So Konami do always tweet out the player of the week worldwide players and as you can see here, it doesn't take long for people to actually, you know, start putting them together. This is from CTE Football here and it is going to be Kubo and it looks like Endrick is going to be getting his first card in as well. So that's going to be very interesting. We also got an announcement today as well from Palmeiras who are obviously a Brazilian club, they are going to be in the game, licensed in the game. Now, there's a couple of interesting bits I want to talk about. I will probably do an extra video on this later on, but I'll, I'll basically just touch on a couple of the rumors and stuff that went up on Twitter about eFootball 2025. I think that we will get news soon. I think a lot of the stuff, there's context to it. I do think that the game is going to change a little bit. I do think that some things are going to change a lot. But this is the only confirmed confirmation that we have from eFootball 2025. There's nothing else officially confirmed with this yet. Now, I'll give you my thoughts at the end of the video here as well. But just to go through the rest of this stuff here, we do probably go, we are probably going to get some more of these as well. So I do reckon that we will get more of these. As you see here, Haaland, Madweke, and of course, Almo all had some really good results and really good games, almost scoring on his debut, the hat-trick from the two boys as well, so I do think that those guys will come, right? Now, I will say, right, as I've already touched on, and I'll keep this video short and sweet, I do feel as if, in my opinion, right, with this new eFootball 2025, I do feel like that some of the rumors that are out there, some of the stuff that we've seen are out there, I do feel that it's kind of a mixed bag as to what's coming. I mean, it goes without saying, that we are going to get better graphics, we are going to get better stuff happening with the game, better lighting, better scenes, I mean, they've already improved those throughout the year as it is, um, but I do feel like that the big thing for eFootball needs to be some sort of rebalancing of the overall gameplay on the pitch, you know what I mean? And also, I do feel as well as, as all of that, right, they have talked about the progression reset here from v4.0 onwards that it's going to be at no cost but i do think that they do need to rebalance the actual you know passing the interceptions we've done multiple videos on it i think that they will kind of like change a lot of stuff in eFootball 25 but i think it's going to take time i don't think that it's going to be at launch like it's going to be where the game is going to be by december or by next year and i know that that sounds like a long time away now but you have to understand i suppose that you know while we want the best 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 of everything they probably have a plan that is dream team, you know, oriented. So, I mean, it, it is going to be, I think it's going to be a, a tough couple of weeks, I think, um, you know, because we've been used to for years having a brand new, you know, game. Whereas now I think that with this new kind of rollout 
of content and new rollout of the updates, you know, from V3.6 to V3. V4.0 or whatever it is, with everything carried over, it's not the same as going in and, you know, unwrapping a brand new game box and, you know, having a brand new game with a lot of brand new features in it. So I do feel if you guys want me to talk about like more of the rumored stuff and that, I mean, as I've said, man, it's just very generic stuff. I mean, graphics, lighting, um, all of that is going to be improved. Cutscenes are going to be improved. Obviously, you know, we'll talk about like the assistance and stuff and what that could mean. But I think that it won't be as, you know, if you were to explain, if you were to explain like the defendant in eFootball at the moment, and you were to say that it's very defensive and it's very, uh, you know, defensively assisted, it wouldn't really tell the picture. It wouldn't paint you the picture as to exactly what the gameplay is until you experience it yourself. So let me know what you guys think. As I said, we will be streaming tomorrow and we're going to do a deep dive on all the rumors and everything. If you want to see a dedicated video, smash that like button and get in the comments below and let me know. Otherwise, we'll do a bit of a live stream tomorrow and get on it and talk about it in a lot more detail and a couple of tidbits. I'm going to drop a couple of bits of information myself tomorrow as well on the stream that I haven't really seen talked about before. And we'll go into that in a deep route, okay? So that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you later. Let me know if you think these players are going to come or drop your you know, predictions in the com comments below. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.